Okay, next thing I want to do is get our boundaries back on the screen. Remember, we had these boundaries that the ship would bounce off of, and so I want to get those rendering. Let's go back to our game. Actually, let's grab the data from my GL window first. We have ship verts, we have boundary verts, boundary indices. These are the things I'm interested in. Let me grab them. Go back to our game. And recall that we put the ship vert data on the stack here so that we could copy it into the actual memory represented by our, our game. Okay, we had this, we defined these arrays here. Well, that's kind of embarrassing. I have a three here, but I didn't use my constant. But we define these arrays there, and they make up part of a my game instance. And so in the constructor, we put the memory on the stack, we copied it into the actual arrays inside of the object, and so that data would stay around for, for as long as we need it, for the duration of the game. Syntactically, if I could just grab this, copy that, and put it right here, then that'd be awesome. I wouldn't have to do all this headache of throwing it on the stack, and then copying it to my actual instance memory. But since this is C++ and we're real close to the hardware here, then okay, put it on the stack and then copy it over. So let me get rid of that. And I actually don't like this sitting in the constructor. When I was looking at the code earlier uh, before uh, running this video, recording this video, <laughs> I saw that we had this nice clean initialize. It's like, ah, clean, ah, clean, ah, clean, somewhat clean, and then Blah! Here's a bunch of ship stuff. So I, I don't like that. I don't like that. I, I'm going to pull this code out. Control X. And down here, where should we put it? I think I'll put it down at the very bottom because it's just kind of stuff we do once and then the game gets going. I'm going to paste it right there. Bull, my game. Initialize ship. Give it some curly braces. And we'll just say return right here. Return ship dot initialize semicolon. We need to make this actually part of our or my game class. So we'll do it right here in the private section. Get rid of this and semicolon. Save all the files with Control Shift S. Should be good there. Now I can say if if not ship dot initialize return false. I actually think this textually reads a little better. If you compare the initialize function with the shutdown, we have render initialize, input, game, ship, and then in reverse order, ship, game, input, render. So I like how I can syntactically just say, hey, that's that is the opposite order that we initialized in. It's like we're winding in. And then we wind out. I also noticed offline connect returns a bool. I never noticed that before, but the bool indicates whether the connect works. If I misspell this or misspell that, then the connect would fail. So I can actually say if not connect, I return false. And I think I'll drop this down here and then uh, highlight to that tab. Tab that in. I think that syntactically reads a little cleaner. I've noticed with C++, especially if I want some readability, I need to be verbose. And generally that means a lot of vertical scrolling, which I am okay with. And then the initialize ship. Uh, part of initializing ship is this code, so I'm not sure why I stuffed that in the constructor. I guess I was thinking this should be part of setting up the state of our object since it's just a memory thing but let's go put that with the ship down here put that right there and get rid of that now we can get rid of the constructor and let the compiler generate a parameterless uh, empty bodied constructor for us i don't like things to take up screen real estate it's noise to my head to leave that there let me build this and make sure we're good to go. And the ship doesn't show. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing I 
tested that. What's wrong with this? I'm going to pause the recording, see if I can figure it out, and then I'll let you know what I find. And that's embarrassing. We made an initialized ship here, but it's not... Oh, I said ship dot ah, uh, initialize, initialize ship. Let's try that out. That was thoroughly embarrassing. There we go. Kind of nice. I think that's a little cleaner. And the next thing I want to do is get the boundary data up and going. Uh, we'll do that in the next video.